Ramohan Roy was born in Radhanagar in the Hooghly district of Bengal. Ramohan started his formal education in the village patshala where he learned Bengali and some Sanskrit and Persian. Later he is said to have studied Persian and Arabic in a madrasa in Patna and after that he was sent to Banaras to learn the intricacies of Sanskrit and Hindu scripture including the Vedas and Upanishads. Ramohan Roy's impact on modern Indian history was his revival of the pure and ethical principles of the Vedanta school of philosophy as found in the Upanishads. He preached the unity of God, made early translations of Vedic scriptures into English and founded the Brahmo Samaj. The Brahmo Samaj played a major role in reforming and modernizing the Indian society. He successfully campaigned against Sati, the practice of burning widows. He also crusaded against other evil customs like polygamy, child marriage and the caste system. Roy also demanded property inheritance rights for women. He sought to integrate Western culture with the best features of his own country's traditions. He established a number of schools to popularize a modern system of education in India. He promoted a rational, ethical, non-authoritarian view among Indians. Roy believed education to be an implement for social reform. In 1817, he set up the Hindu College at Calcutta. In 1822, Roy found the Anglo-Hindu school followed four years later by the Vedanta College. In 1830, he helped Rev. Alexander Duff in establishing the Scottish Church College by providing him with the venue vacated by Brahmo Sabha and getting the first batch of students. His most popular journal was the Sambad Komodi. It covered topics like freedom of the press, induction of Indians into high ranks of service, and separation of the executive and judiciary. When the English company muzzled the press, Ram Mohan composed two memorials against this in 1829. In 1830, Ram Mohan Roy traveled to the United Kingdom as an ambassador of the Mughal Empire to ensure that Lord William Bentinck's Bengal Sati Regulation 1829 of banning the practice of Sati was not overturned. While in England, he embarked on cultural exchanges, meeting with members of parliament and publishing books on Indian economics and law. He died at Stapleton, then a village to the northeast of Bristol, on 27 September 1833 of meningitis and was buried in the Arnos Vale Cemetery in southern Bristol. On his birthday, we pay tribute to this great man who worked to save the lives of millions of Indian women. India will forever be grateful to Raja Ram Mohan Roy for the reforms in our society.